So hello and welcome. I'm Frederick Dunn and today I'm just going to walk you through a very quick look at all the entrances of the beehives in my apiary. Starting right off with this uh, flow hive. It's a 10 frame and this is the one that I recently featured in a video showing that the yellow jacket wasps are raiding it early in the morning. But I wanted to let you know that by reducing the entrance this time of year that stress is off of this hive. I look for general things at the landing board. I'm just looking to see if the grass is packed down in front from skunk activity. Check that off. Zero skunks on the apiary upper and lower meadows. So we're clear there. There's no evidence of robbing. So we're going to be looking for that too. I want to see that the bees are normal acting at the entrance. There are some guard bees here, but I'm not even wearing a veil and they're not coming after me at all. The other thing is I like to see pollen coming in. These sequences were videoed between 12 noon and 1230. And this entire video is only 10 minutes and 28 seconds. And I'm going to walk you through 36 entrances. So this was entrance number one. And again, we're going to be looking at packing them down this weekend. So all hives are going to be reduced to two boxes. In some cases, just one, depending on how old they are. So here's another one. Entrances reduced. Standard Langstroth 10 frame, number 12 here, also has a decent size entrance reducer. The next thing we're going to look for too is that the hive entrances are only 3 eighths of an inch in height because guess what's happening next month? Mice will be looking to move into these. So this is a six frame or five frame nucleus hive, number 20 here. Lots of pollen coming in. They're doing extremely well. Number 14 here. Another flow hive. This is doing really well. This is a six frame flow hive, eight frame standard lang. Apame hives, all doing fantastic. This is a seven frame nucleus apame. And we also have the larger version here. And that's an 18, uh, number 18, 10 frame langstroth, same thing. What I want to do is look at all the entrances one after another. This is a Flow hive, the full width here is open. It's a heavily populated hive and we're going to be reducing this with screens just like we did on the very first one. Lots of pollen coming in, lots of growth and development there. I made a mistake on the previous Apame. That was a 10 frame Apame. This is the seven frame nucleus hive and it is right next to another one, which is a 10 frame. So these are doing extremely well. Apame hives, not a lot of bearding, very good ventilation control. All the venting through the top is closed off by the bees. Now we have two resource hives side by side. They are both three boxes tall. So that means 15 deep frames, number 22 and 23 here. Didn't have to pull resources from them. So they probably swarmed and I just wasn't aware of it. Here's another flow hive. This is a 10 frame and uh, it's normal. Everything's good here. Number seven. Also, the entrance reducer is fine. I may not change this at all going into winter. Remember, three eighths of an inch high, three inches wide if they're challenged. Hive number six here has that laminated bottom board. Don't like it. I may be swapping that out during the pack down. So that's the other thing is we pack down these hives. It's a chance to replace woodenware. If the bottom boards aren't doing well, we'll pull those and replace them. If the boxes are in bad shape, swap out the boxes. This is hive number nine. This was a recent install that we did with a cage and they're doing great. Pollen's coming in, the queen's laying. Another resource hive, number 15 there. They are too high, so that's five and five, so that's 10 deep frames. They have a feeder on, have not been using the feeder because they're back filling everything nicely on their own. Lots of brood there. This is the observation hive building. There are three entrances on it. Each has its own unique configuration. So as the bees get closer, they can find their way faster and not drift to other colonies. All three of the observation hives requeen themselves and all three of the queens have been seen. So that's good news. That's what the building looks like. Faces south, gets nice and hot. You can tell it's right around noon. Now, this is the ivory bee hive. Again, we open it up to look at it. It has 15 full frames. So this thing is chock-a-block. It's loaded front to back. We put a swarm in it this year. They filled out every frame. Not sure what I'm going to do with it other than just see how they go through winter. But they could not be better provisioned. They have uh, every single frame drawn out. They have capped wax in there. And as we can see by the pollen amount that's going in, 
they also have strong brood. So now we're in the lower meadow here. This is where the horizontal hives are among others. And I'm going to add more hives to this area. This is my long Langstroth hive going gangbusters, of course, filled all the frames. There's no more room for expansion in there. 20 deep frames. So, you know, it sounds like a lot, but that's actually just two deeps stacked on each other. This is my grandson Quinn's very first beehive. We collected a swarm for him. These are his first bees. He checks on them as often as he can. He'll be back today to look at them. And he'll be happy to know that they're going gangbusters too. Lots of pollen. No robbing. I can just tell you that ahead of time. None of these colonies are getting robbing pressure, but that's no big surprise. This is a layens hive. Both of the layens hives are fantastic. All frames are full. No room for expansion. Another nucleus hive. Uh, the other thing is, so they're not being robbed, they're not under pressure. We have to check each hive here in the next couple of weeks to make sure they have the resources they need. If they do, we don't have to feed them. So there are a couple of late season hiving situations here that we will have to give them feed on top. And we'll go over that in other videos, but I thought it would be great just to take you through and hit 36 of these hives. So this is also a lay-ins hive from Dr. Leo Sharashkin. Again, full, no more room for expansion. I would have to get more lands hives because all the frames are full. So now I'm just allowing them to backfill their frames with honey and nectar. And that's not a problem for me this time of year. That is my westernmost nucleus hive, five over five. So again, the equivalent of a single deep 10 frame. But let me tell you this, five over five builds up much faster than just a standard 10 frame Langstroth deep. Number three here is just doing fantastic. Lots of pollen going in. Number 42 also doing fantastic. Again, I guess I don't have to tell you. None of them are doing bad. What about Varroa mite counts this year? One colony had high counts, just one out of all of them. But keep in mind too, there's been a lot of swarming going on. A lot of these are my own bees cycled back to me. They have a great track record of being good groomers. They're hygienic bees. They get rid of Varroa a lot on their own. That doesn't mean the Varroa are not a problem. I'm not letting my guard down. And of course, uh, we will hit them with oxalic acid vaporization if at the end of the year, all of a sudden things get out of hand with Varroa mites. And of course, this was the recent combination that we did with my grandson where we collected a swarm, we found the queen separately, we put them together, and we used a queen isolation cage to get them in that hive. They're doing fantastic pollen. Lots of people had questions about the better comb and if the bees would put brood in it, and they did. So we're good to go there, good to go everywhere. Now this is the hive gate entrance guard. The hive gate has been pulled, and we're just doing a clean up here. Again, look at all the pollen that's going in. Brood is strong. There are still lots of drones, but let me tell you this, you're getting rid of the drones. Hive number 36 there, a deep and a medium with an experimental bottom board, has a removable tray underneath of it. Again, that's a full width entrance. We're gonna be shutting that down a little bit and it will be a three inch wide entrance at the end of this month. So we're gonna use screens on that one too. And it's a very nice board. It's got a aluminum screen inside, a removable tray underneath, and the bees are doing extremely well. None of these hives have top venting. None of these hives have upper entrances, single entrances only. So here we are again. We're getting to the west side of the apiary here. Uh, standard double deeps. Those are both tens. That's a Hoover hive on top. By the way, the Hoover finish is wearing off. That's the beeswax coating there. Again, they have a full width opening. The bottom board has been replaced and we're going to be reducing this entrance also. Curious enough, the yellow jackets don't even try this hive early in the morning when it's cold and that's because it's so heavily populated. So once again, uh, we will pull some frames of honey from this one and we're going to cycle in some drawn comb right after that because there's still time for them to fill it. This is my westernmost hive, double deep, five over five nucleus hive. These are fantastic. Solid bottom board, no top venting. And for the top on this one in particular, it just has double bubble with a migratory cover on it. So we do have a two inch rigid foam board cap to put on this when winter comes. So we'll cycle that in later on. 
But once again, they're not having to defend themselves. No bees are attacking, but that pressure is coming when all that forage you see in the background goes away. The bees will start looking to rob one another, so that's what we have to be ready for. But for today, I just wanted to walk through and give you a quick scan of all the entrance types and shapes and what's going on and the fact that we have no problems. If there is one with a problem, then we'd have to deal with it, but robbing is coming, so don't let your guard down. I hope you found this interesting. Thanks for watching. I just decided to bring you along with me since I'm doing the check anyway. Good luck with all of your own honeybees.